Hello and welcome to the first in a series of walking guides for the highest mountains in Scotland. Collectively, these mountains are known as the Munros. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the quick way up Ben Lomond via the Tarmigan Ridge. I will show you the route on the OS Maps website and details to the website are included in the description below. And then I will show you video time lapse of me walking and climbing up Ben Lomond. During the time lapse, I will add in videos from real live footage during the walk and with additional commentary as I go. I'll start with logging into the OS Maps online and I've already plotted the route for Ben Lomond going up via Tarmigan Ridge. I've also included a link to this route in the description below. When we leave the car park, we're going to head left and follow the West Highland Way for around about 800 metres. At which point we'll pass a big white house on the right hand side and we'll cross a river. Once we cross that river, we want to make a sharp right turn and follow the path up into the woods and that makes our way up onto the Tarmigan Ridge. From here, we will follow the path all the way to the top of Ben Lomond. It does get a bit steeper towards the summit. Once you reach the top, on this walkthrough, I'm going to return to the car park via the same path that I climbed up Ben Lomond. You do have the option to continue on the path and it takes you round to the right in a big loop all the way back to the car park using the main path that goes up Ben Lomond. My preference is to go up the Tarmigan Ridge because you get a much better view of Loch Lomond and the Arapa Alps on the opposite side. Also within the OS Maps Online, you have the option to view the route in a 3D fly-through mode. And this gives us a good idea of the route that we're planning to take and where the steeper sections are. You have also got the option to subscribe to OS Maps Online and this gives you access to premium maps that provide a greater level of detail. These are the maps that I use. Both the free maps and the premium maps can be printed using the icon at the top right hand corner. Once you click that icon you get the option to select the size and scale that you're going to print in and then the option to generate a PDF and it's from that PDF that you then print out a paper copy of your map that you can take with you as you go for a walk. Once I've planned my route, I would then go to the Mountain Weather Information Service. Again, a link is included in the description below. And this is where you can get information about the weather. Here we have a copy of the report for the West Highlands. And this is the area that includes Ben Lomond. When I'm checking the report, the things that I'm looking for are if there is going to be significant high wind and also the temperature and you can see from this forecast that the temperature is expected to be around 8 degrees Celsius but with the wind chill it's going to feel like sub-zero so you need to make sure that you've got the proper clothing to protect yourself from that wind chill Here we are at Ben Lomond car park It is a pay and display car park and it, the machine takes both coins and card There is also a toilet block and it's only open between 9am and 4pm. And now we're at the exit of the Ben Lomond car park. I don't know if you can see that. 5 past 7 on Saturday morning. Well, the more common approach to go up Ben Lomond is to take that path over there. But we're going to head left and follow the West Highland Way for a little bit. So that we can go up Tarmigan Ridge. You'll walk along the West Highland Way for only about 5 or 10 minutes and then you'll see this sign and the White House in the background. At this point you want to keep on the West Highland Way but in about 100 metres or so we'll cross a small bridge and then we'll turn right to go up onto Tarmigan Ridge. Here we have an honesty box and water and cakes at that house I pointed out a moment ago. And as we cross over this river and then we're going to turn right at this point here and go up into Tarmigan Ridge. After this it's pretty much a straight path all the way to the top. It gets a little bit steeper. Today it is quite wet so I'll try and show how 
waterlogged the trail gets. I don't recall it being too bad. And I'll talk soon. Starting to clear up a little bit. Almost one hour in, the OS maps says it's 50 minutes to the top. We're less than halfway, we're just under 400 metres. The top of this one's over 900 metres. There's another stream further up on Tarmigan Ridge. So, good point to fill up the water. So we're in cloud. The rain is picking up. Wind is picking up. I'm at 700 metres, just under two kilometres to go to the top. And this is actually the first time I found a muddy patch. It's raining, it's been raining for the past month or two. This path is excellent. So we're at my favourite part of the walk, we're on the, the ridge, it just undulates from here to the final hike up to the top, there's a, a, quite a steep pool right at the end, but we've got a fair, a little bit to walk along, it's nice and level, a little bit up and down, and on a clear day, not today, you can see all of Ben Lomond, and I'm sure I'll find some previous footage of these photographs that will show across to the Araka Alps down the bottom bend, Loch Lomond down the bottom bend, all the way up to Tarbet. Today's a bit wet.
So coming to the final climb up to Ben Lomond, 170 meters to go up, and it gets a little bit steeper. So at the very top of Down Lomond, not very much to see. Cloudy day. The wind's come down a bit, a little rough around it. Turns out. There is no climbing required for this route, but you do get a little bit of exposure at this final pull to the top. I think it's a much better way to come up than moment rather than the main path. So today the weather worse off the top than actually at the top. This is about the windiest and wettest it's been so far on the way down. The top was pretty bad. So the wind is really picking up now. As you can probably hear, it's not blowing me over yet. It can easily get a lot worse. But we do need to be prepared. We need the right to have the right equipment, the right clothes to keep you warm, to keep you dry. Dry-ish. Keep you dry this weather.
now that I'm back below the cloud level, you can get to see some of the scenery we have here at Ben Lomond. And that's me back at the car park. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.